The AR-15 family of rifles is one of the most popular choices for sheepdog all across America. These rifles carry 30 round magazines or 20. They're semi-automatic. How do you go from keeping magazines like this, fully unloaded, loose rounds, boxed ammunition, to this, fully loaded magazines with possibly boxed ammunition in reserve? You know, there's a lot of controversy over magazines, whether to keep them loaded or not. Many experts say that compressed springs in a magazine, there's no danger that these will become overextended or compressed to the point where you can't use them. There are others that say that sometimes the springs are just worn out and you may not even realize it. What we want to talk about is how to keep your magazines in tip-top shape and yet have your ammunition ready in case you ever need it. Now, right before the initial assault weapons ban, I bought a lot of these 30 round magazines. This one in particular has a green follower, which is uh, a little smoother than the old black followers. Uh, here's a 20 round military surplus magazine. Now they've come out with some really nice magazines that are state of the art, such as this PMAG, which has a dust cover, but also protects your feed lips from damage. And there's some other uses for this. But these magazines are a great choice for magazines. Also, this is a thermal mold magazine, 30 rounder. It's excellent. I have used these extensively. Uh, if you find any Oralite magazines, be careful because sometimes they won't fit into your mag well of certain rifles. I've had rifles where they fit fine and they function well, and I've had others they wouldn't even fit into the. But to be honest, you need quite a few magazines on hand if you ever get yourself in a desperate situation. Yeah, they hold 30 rounds, but it doesn't take long for this semi-automatic rifle to go through 30 rounds in a hurry. Okay, here is the bandolier set that I really think, I really want to recommend. What this does this will hold enough for four 30 round magazines. So that's 120 rounds. Has a strap. These can be stored any way you like. Here's the repack kit that I picked up at a gun show. Bandolier. They have 12 stripper clips, four cardboard boxes, and one loader. Here's your cardboard boxes. There's your loader. Stripper clips can be picked up really inexpensively. Here's some mags. Here's some that are already loaded. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to load each one. It's very simple. There's some small brass tabs that go right here, and they hold the, these into place. Now, what happens is this loader goes onto the back of the magazine, fits on like so. These are military surplus, so these have been well tested. You take your stripper clip. Right here, we'll see, go into the guide there, and then just pull down. Boom, you're finished. Go with round two. As you can see, it doesn't take just a couple of minutes to load these magazines. But the good thing is, since it's easy to load, you can keep these separately stored away in your boxes and then even to go ahead and put it in your bandolier to keep it handy. I always keep a few loaded magazines around at all times enough to go into my vest or into some of my pouches and then I have a lot of these cardboard boxes ready to go with stripper clips. Now these clips they do have these little brass little tabs right here that will break off after a period of time these are pretty expendable so you need to have plenty of these around now I do want to show you these loaders fit on all of these uh, rifles this PMAG here's a thermal mold they fit very nicely they function very well um, even on the 20 rounders I like 20 rounders because sometimes because you can really get a little bit lower You'll notice, you know, you're giving yourself a couple of inches there, two, one and a, two and a half inches of clearance if you need to get down low. So sometimes 20 rounders are, are a good choice. 
Okay, here's another load system that I, uh, I picked up a few years ago. And unfortunately, I don't know the name of this. Uh, I did see some on GunBroker that uh, were showing this. But what happens is with this, it just fits directly over on top of your magazine. Then you take your, it has a little guide there. Slips down in and then goes right in. Of course, you'll want to do that three times. It's very easy to load. It has a little track. These have little nubs that hold the rounds into place. And then you can store them away in your ammo box or whatever you want to do to keep these safe. You know, the one thing about this is, and with the stripper clips, you can load these stripper clips at your leisure. Whenever you get a chance, just load them. Put them away, and then they're ready. You don't have to load these when you're under high stress. And you've got everything right there ready to go. Like I said, keep them in the box or go ahead and then put them in the bandolier set for easy storage and you can carry them very easily as well. These are military surplus kits here. This is what the military has used and is tested and they have proven themselves to be effective. They've had the experience. They know what they're doing. If you have an AR-15 rifle, you need to have a minimum of a thousand rounds of ammunition and I know ammunition has gone up but let me tell you something guys you need to have enough ammunition in case a situation happens and the thing is again like I've said before these the prices on this stuff is continuing to rise and will continue to rise ammo is becoming a little more uh, available but the prices are not coming down so go ahead and go out and pick yourself up, you know, a couple of hundred rounds, the next time a couple of hundred. You know, I've been doing this for 25 years. You, you're not going to get to where I am necessarily in one night. But you know what, if you keep slowly building up before long, you're going to have a nice um, stock of, of ammunition that you'll have put back. It's like having money in the bank. Okay, just to give you an idea of what an investment is when you're buying ammunition, uh, this is something I bought a few years ago, not too long ago. I want you to look at the price on here. Do you see that? $3.50. These are at least $7 a box just for the basic cheap stuff. Now look at this military surplus. <laughs> $2.95. Excellent investment. But let me tell you something, guys. It hasn't stopped. It's going to continue to go up. I can promise you that. Now, one quick word about storing your ammunition to keep it waterproof and really stable. I put it in these military cans. This is a uh, 7.62 millimeter or 30 cal military issue can. You can pick these up pretty reasonable, especially like at surplus places or gun shows. But it keeps your ammunition dry, it keeps it protected, and there's a seal around here. You need to watch that seal though. But um, closes down. And typically I'll mark how much is in here. Now I've got 800. I've got 820 marked on here. But I just placed 800 rounds in here. All I'll do is pick it up and I can go. But uh, this really keeps your ammunition more stable, I think, than just out in the elements or, um, you know, if you just have it stored somewhere. I keep my ammo cans marked on what's in it. This has a total of 720 rounds. Uh, 640 are boxed and then I have four 20 round magazines that are loaded in this can. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America and long live the Republic.